Hello everyone, it's Alexis. How are you doing? I'm doing alright. I wasn't expecting to do a video today, but I just decided I wanted to. And um, I've decided I really want to start this schedule again, my new schedule of doing a commentary video every Monday, a story time or something video every Wednesday and a makeup video every Friday. I really want to get into that routine but unfortunately I've been having a lot on lately. I've been having some mental health trouble recently and I've just been, it's all been getting to me and um, so I've not really been able to film and stuff um, except for that pride themed makeup video um, not long ago. I hope you all liked that. But I just decided I was going to start this schedule now. I was going to start in the future, but um, I've decided to start now. Okay, so firstly, um, I don't know if you noticed, but I often put my PayPal in the description bar. And I also put my Ko-fi, buy me a coffee account in the description bar, as well as my Bandcamp link to my music. And I'd very much appreciate it if... Um, if you want to support my channel, if you want to help me buy a microphone so I can make better quality ASMR videos, or if you want to just sort of help me live, help me do stuff, help me do this, help me do that, um, I'd really appreciate it if you would donate to my PayPal or to my Buy Me A Coffee um, link down below and check out my music, my single Iridescent and its accompani accompanying promo single Diva. Um, I used to play the iridescent as the intro for this but a load of stuff went down and I my old phone broke so I had to get a new phone which is why I couldn't do videos for a while which is why I um, don't have the, the um, footage anymore I will probably have to make a new one or maybe when my next single finally comes out I'll be able to use that so um, anyway Today's video is on a sort of like trending topic right now. It is about the whole creep show art situation. Now, I used to watch creep show arts videos occasionally, and um, yeah, she did some videos on the whole Darby Vanity situation. I might have to do a video on that at some point. I don't know if I'm a bit too late to the game because it was about a year ago where everyone like Pastel Bell and Repzilla and even Blair White, even people like that were doing videos about the whole Darby Vanity situation. But um, she seemed okay at first. Um, but the thing is, there's just, there's some things I can sense about people. I sometimes can just just like sense when someone's a bit dodgy or a bit problematic or just sort of seems a bit I just feel uncomfortable about them and I always kind of got that about creep show art but um, some rather serious allegations have come out again have come out about creep show art real name Shannon recently um, it's turned out that she's been posting on a um, sort of I don't really know what this site is. It's the first I've ever heard of this site, because honestly, I'm not into things like this. This site called lolcal.com or lolcal.something. And she was basically like, it's anonymous, but like there's some evidence that it's her. But like, this is all alleged. Um, I'm not saying that sort of, I'm not saying in this video that any of this is true, but like, I'm just saying what I've heard and my opinion on it. On this website, apparently, like, people post really kind of, like, mean things about different people and things like that, and apparently Creepshow Art likes to, um, portray herself as this really kind of, like, mental health advocate, LGBT advocate and all that, and, um, but at the same time, on LolCal has been posting some really ableist and homophobic, transphobic comments and has been saying really mean things about other creators such as D'Angelo Wallace and Ready to Glare about um, just saying really mean things about them and has even, I'm pretty sure, has even like said things about herself but pretending not to be her like and for a while she has been 
apparently I this is the first I've really heard of it because like I said all I really knew of creep show art was the few videos that she did and um, I will get into why I stopped watching her videos later and why sort of like none of this really surprises me but um, yes she um, what was I saying oh yes she claimed that she had some this stalker called that she referred to as Amy and she claimed that Amy was doing this and was pretending to be her on this lolcal.com website and um obviously this could all be true i don't know i am just um but it's sort of there is some evidence to say that it is actually her doing it and her sort of like and she's claiming that amy is pretending to be her pretending to not be her um and she said some really, whoever it was, said some really awful things on that website. They used terms such as a term that I'm not going to say, like fake opposite to girl, which is a term used against transgender men. And also she's used, she's also said, whoever it was, said some really derogatory stuff about autistic people and um, other stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, and also, like I said, some stuff about D'Angelo Wallace and people like that, and, um, yeah. And obviously, like, she's claiming it's not her, but loads of people are, like, saying, yes, it's her, yeah. And, um, not only has this come out, but some other creators have have done some videos making some ac accusations about creep show art about shannon one of these is a video a youtuber called emily artful who did a video where she talked about being stalked by um creep show art who had by then started dating her abusive ex who is called anthony who i don't who is apparently a youtuber as well but i've never really heard of him and um, I watched a bit of her video yesterday, or it might have been the day before, and she was really kind of like cool and honest about it. Apparently, she went through a stage where she had a lot of internalised misogyny and sort of like was anti-feminist and all that. Like, I went through a stage, I myself went through a stage of being problematic. I was always a feminist. I was never anti-feminist, but um, I was not always as good a person as I was now. And... Um, and apparently sort of like she often felt threatened by other women and one time Anthony asked her if she wanted to sing a duet with him and sent her a demo of this duet with Shannon singing on it and apparently um, Emily was quite sort of like catty about Shannon singing and said like oh she's really kind of like weak and stuff and she admits like oh I was really catty I was really insecure and all that and apparently like Shannon has been using that one little thing that Emily's even sorry for and um, likes to hold herself accountable for and is using that as an excuse to be really awful to Emily and and like treat her really badly and um, apparently I've even heard that um, I'm going to link Emily's video below. I didn't watch all of it. It is about two hours long, but I got the main gist of it. And um, I'm going to link quite a lot of videos below about this because they can obviously explain it a lot better than I can. And um, yeah, that's very interesting. And also another YouTuber called Hopeless Peaches has made a video talking about how um, she has been, I don't quite know what pronouns Hopeless Peaches uses, um, Peaches if you're watching this, if I get your pronouns wrong, um, I'm sorry, I've heard both she and they used for them, so, um, I don't really know, so I'm really sorry if I get your pronouns wrong, Peaches, if you watch this. Um, apparently they've accused her of doxing and of a load of stuff that she didn't actually do and um, they were apparently really good friends and apparently they didn't respond very apparently Shannon didn't respond very well to when Peaches attempted suicide and stuff like that and they were saying really horrible stuff about Peaches on lolcal again 
I'm not saying it's them, or I'm not saying it's Shannon or Lol Cal. I'm just saying like a lot of evidence points to that, and um, yeah, and, and and sort of like so yeah, several people have come forward. The thing is, none of this. I have to say, I'm not saying that this is all Shannon and that Shannon did all this and that she's guilty and we should all condemn her and stuff like. But I always got a funny feeling about Shannon from watching these videos and um, just because sort of relating back to, okay so firstly Shannon did a video on the Jessica Yaniv situation. Now just for context, Jessica Yaniv is a Canadian trans woman who was apparently kicked up a big fuss about not being able to be given a bikini wax at a salon and apparently um, just like make a huge fuss about that and um, she was also then accused of grooming minors and young girls and a lot of people have done videos about this including Blair White and Calvin Gara and people like that and um, honestly like obviously I know Calvin and Blair are both trans but honestly I have been disappointed with so many people so many cis peoples I'm non-binary by the way if you're gonna say oh but you're cis no I'm not I am non-binary gender fluid I just present as very feminine because I'm not secure enough in myself to present how I really want to anyway yeah so I literally have been disappointed by every single cis creator's video about the Jessica Yanni situation because a lot of the time they try to like they often misgender her and dead name her. Two videos that I was okay with were Corviday's video, that one was fantastic. Um, he actually sort of explained not really, he didn't really go into Jessica Yanni, he just explained sort of like how, explained the media's reaction to it and why sort of like certain things happened and stuff and this video was really interesting. And also Cat Black did a good video on it. And um, every other person, like, I've not seen I've not seen Blair's video, I've not seen Calvin Gara's video, but every single cis person who I've seen tackling the subject always manages to misgender and dead name Jessica Yaniv. And like obviously if Jessica did do those things that she was accused of, which from the evidence I've seen it does look like she did, then she is an absolutely terrible person and but that is still no excuse to misgender or deadname her because that affects the whole trans community. And um, one of these cis people that did a video about Jessica Yaniv was Creep Show Art and she had a very kind of like common response to the situation. She referred to Jessica Yaniv as they, even though she uses she pr her pronoun, she I'm pretty sure disclosed her dead name and she questioned whether or not she really was trans, which I really don't believe that cis people should be doing. And um, she also sort of like said that Jessica Yaniv was giving the LGBT community a bad name, but the thing is Shannon is cis, is bisexual apparently, but cis. And um, I really feel like cis LGBT people shouldn't be saying that and should be sort of like leaving up to trans people, specifically trans women, to say that um, Jessica Yaniv is ruining sort of like the trans community and the world's perception of the trans community and promoting the stereotype of them being predatory and stuff. And because um, neither Cat Black nor Corviday actually sort of like said they neither of them defended Jessica Yaniv. Both of them just sort of like said, like, even Cat Black said that um, she can't deny that sort of like if Jessica Neve did do those things, which she believes she did, then she is an absolutely awful person. And um, again, Corviday didn't, but the thing is, like, then the comments in Corviday's video were accusing him of defending Jessica Yaniv, which at no point did he do it, it was just because he didn't misgender and dead name her, because apparently when a trans person is an awful person if you're not transphobic towards them then you're then you're um 
defending their actions and defending them, which is not true. Like, like I said, misgendering and dead naming them affects the whole community. It affects the way we see, um, the way the world sees trans people, and just like, I just felt sort of like Shannon's reaction to it was not that good. But at the same time, and at the same time, Shannon. This is kind of like a me thing and a personal thing. Shannon identifies as not a feminist. Now, I can sort of understand why, because there are some really problematic, awful feminists out there, like TERFs, racist white feminists, and um, SWERFs, and stuff like that, but there are also some really good feminists and who are inclusive. There are some feminists who are trans women, who are sex workers, who are women of colour, and people like that. And um, I felt like she was just ignoring that and just sort of like, and just being, and I just feel like, to me, I have had really bad experience with women with internalised misogyny. I've even, ugh, just so many of them, so many women with internalised misogyny, at times are almost as bad as men like as almost as bad as sexist men not all not saying all men just yes don't accuse me of saying all men um just sort of like um i just feel like there are a lot of women who with internalized misogyny who like hate on feminists and suck up to the patriarchy and stuff and um sort of like almost seem to sort of like want to be oppressed or something and i'm not saying that's what creep show art is but just the fact that she identifies as not being a feminist and is like has a kind of fuck feminism attitude but just because of a few bad apples in feminism then i just get sort of like internalized misogyny red flags because i have met some really toxic people toxic women with internalized misogyny and um also just it was just a weird kind of intuition that i got of um creep show art like um just this doesn't really surprise me again i'm not saying that this is all true and sort of like it could not be true it could still not be true but i just feel like a lot it doesn't really look good for creep show art and a lot of the evidence points to it being true unfortunately also, um, she claims that she isn't a feminist because she sees, she basically sees TERFs and sees them all, they're all feminists as TERFs and like she wants to be there for trans women and all that. But one interesting thing is in Emily's video, which again, I'm going to link down below, Emily says that when, who was supposedly Shannon slash Creepshow Art, started stalking her and started sending her really nasty messages and really nasty emails and all that then the way that i oh know well she was talking about the um sort of relating to that about the lol cow posts apparently she apparently there was some trans misogynistic stuff on there and emily said that she knew something like she knew that that was shannon because that included trans misogynistic stuff like apparently even though i'm pretty sure emily artful is cis i don't know that but um apparently creep show art apparently sort of like there had been some sort of like trans misogynistic stuff said to her like misdirected trans misogynistic stuff like she would say are you pre-op have you still got part bits down there and called her a Tesla word I'm not going to say which refers to trans women and stuff like that and like so she's saying she's not a feminist because she cares too much about trans women but she says some really apparently allegedly says some terrible stuff about trans women I just find that interesting Again, it just is a tran a internalised misogyny red flag for me, just from my past experiences. So again, I'm going to link all I'm gonna link sources down below of where I got this this information. Sorry, this is a really rambly video, like my other videos. I didn't script it or anything. I just decided to do this video today and I just um 
want to do this just doing my sort of like opinions on the whole creep show art situation i've been seeing a lot of youtubers doing videos about it and um yeah so if you like this video please drop a like down below drop a comment um it really helps boost this video in the in the algorithm and um, share with all your friends and subscribe and like I said at the beginning my PayPal and my coffee account will be linked down below and I would really appreciate it if you would donate some money to them in order to just support me living and stuff um, all right so hopefully Hopefully I will be making another video on Wednesday. I will be making a story time video and I look forward I hope you look forward to that. See you then. Bye.